I feel good. I know that I would now. I feel good. I know that I would now. So good. So good. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Boy. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, <laughs> ah okay. Don't worry, you, 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 you got a bit of fist to hear about this. Ah. Uh-oh, okay. You, you, you called me already. Ah. Uh. Oh. All right. Um. I feel good. Da, 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 da. I knew that I wouldn't. I feel good. <laughs> Come on, pick up, 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 pick up. Jason Spaeth. How are you, Mr. Spaeth? Please, who am I speaking with? Uh, have you received the news yet? Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello. Do you, do you have my family? Family habitat. 
into the mortuary. The accident was so fatal. What are you talking about? What are you saying? My wife and daughter were involved in an accident? Yes, um, please, my L time is running out. Send me MTA recharge card so I can call you back and give you the details. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Yes, hello. Alright, you know what? Why don't you just why don't you just cut the line and let me call you back immediately, alright? Uh, my phone is faulty, I can't receive calls. Just send your charge cards and I will call you back. Send it now, please. Okay. Fine, I will. Oh my goodness, what is going on? According to the test results, um, she has malaria and typhoid. That's why she's having the pains. Um, when will she be able to go home because she has exams in a few days? Uh, we have to observe her for a couple of hours. If her condition improves and she doesn't have any problem ingesting her medication, she will be free to go today or later tomorrow morning. Yes. Angel, I need you to do a half of me. Wider. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, so what's her genotype? It's just a routine question. Ah, well, I... It's either A, A, or, or A, S, I think. You're not sure? Oh, well, um, I am A, S, and the mom is A, A, so it's... Um, My darling, my darling, how are you feeling? Are you okay? Okay, okay um, that will be all for now. Thank Take you care very much. Thank you. Thank you. Pastor. Hey. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, I should be on my way now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We give God all the praise and Him alone. We give all the glory. Amen. See, um, God is our source of strength. And um, don't forget, He's a jealous God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so don't give me His glory. Right. Ah. <laughs> um, yeah, before I go, I, I think we should appreciate God for what he's done for us. At least he may alone deserve all the praise. Huh? So let's take a word of prayer. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our God. You are worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Jehovah, we thank you because we know you are God. You are the only God that sits in heaven and the earth is your footstool. The Bible calls you the lion of the tribe of Judah. Amen. You are the first and the last. Amen. You are the beginning and the end. Amen. You are our refuge and our fortress. Amen. Father, concerning this family, O oh God, we ask you, O oh God, that you would do the extraordinary. Amen. Give them the supernatural manifestation. Amen. In the name of Jesus! Amen. Amen. 
Hey babe, how are you? What is it? Yes, Selene. What, what, what about Selene? What? All right, calm down, calm down. Where are you? Where are you right now? Father, begin to touch your daughter from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, do what only you, God, can do. Begin to touch her, O Lord, from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your will be done. Father let your will be done. Father Jehovah. Sir, the doctor wants to see you and your wife in her office. Mr. and Mrs. Spiff, we've been able to ascertain the reason for the pain in your daughter's joints. According to the test results in front of me, your daughter has sickle cell anemia. No, that's not possible. Uh, doctor, please allow me to ask you this. Has there been any recent change in medical context to us? It affects genotype. Why? Because if we were to go by what medicine says, it is quite impossible to accept what that test result says about my daughter having sickle cell anemia. So? Doctor, what I'm saying is that I am A.S. My wife is A.A. -A. Where? Does this excess genotype come from? It doesn't add up. Um, okay, in that case, I would have to do a rerun of the tests. If you don't mind. And I would appreciate it, Doctor, if you supervise it this time. Of course, of course, I will. I will. Um, I, um, my sincere apology for the mix-up. It happens. results from the fourth rerun. We had to go to another lab because the first three tests we ran at our lab gave us the same result. Something is definitely wrong, Doctor. Right? Something, something has to be wrong. I mean, this yeah. is laughable. I can authoritatively say, not with the test we ran on your daughter. The only reasonable and logical explanation is that Either both of you are AS, or one of you is SS. No, that cannot be, Doctor. Not possible. You heard my wife. That cannot be. It is not possible. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Spiff. Do you mind if we do a rerun? I mean, on both of you. If you're telling me to believe that Selin's genotype is SS, then you're equally telling me to believe that I'm not her biological father. Right? Look, Frank. I am AS. And Dorothy is AA. Okay, fine. Now let's assume I gave my daughter an S. I can understand that. But where in Christ's name did the other S come from? This beats me. 
You said the doctor has to run the test in a different lab. Forget it, I don't. I don't believe her. Why would she lie? I don't know. All right? I don't know, but I just cannot take her word for it. You also said she advised that you and Dorothy should have a rerun of your genotype test. Man, I don't believe in that either. Look, man, I have always known from the beginning that I am AS. I am an educated man, so I'm aware of the consequences of getting married to someone carrying the AS genotype. You know why? Because I am one. And that is why when she told me years back that she was pregnant with Dorothy, my only condition then was that she check her genotype. Frank, I wouldn't have taken responsibility for that pregnancy. Neither would I have married Dorothy if her genotype wasn't AA. -A. I wouldn't have done it. There is only one way to solve all this puzzle. Very simple. Very simple. And that is to take my daughter to a more reputable hospital where they have a better equipped laboratory where I can trust their judgment. You and Dorothy need to rerun your genotype tests. Jason, listen to your doctor. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry, I forgot. Your test results are ready. And Dr. Danella would like to see the two of you. Uh, right now? Yes, right now. Okay, then. thank you. You're welcome.
calling cannot be reached. To send an instant voice message as regular call charges. <sighs> Mommy, mommy. Little person sleeping. What are you eating? See. Who made it for you? They are right there. I know. I meant who made it for you. Pastor Tim did. Pastor Tim. Pastor Tim did what? Oh, Pastor Tim. Oh, I've been here before. Um, we decided not to disturb your sleep, so I made this cereal for her. Father, we thank you for divine restoration. Thank you for grace, oh God. Shandi Look at you. A lot stronger today. Mm -hmm. Daddy. Yes. They should buy us on TV. Really? Yes. Uh, did you did you like what you saw? Uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Who who made you cereal? Pastor Tim did. He did? Yes. I see. Are you going on to do? Um, I don't know. I don't know, darling. You know, that's not for me to say. I would have to speak with the doctor. All right, and find out and let you know. Okay. Huh? It's fine. I'll tell you. You're serious. Okay? Devil, you are a liar. Ah, God vindicates me today. Nabashanda la bosanda la kotayi bala bosata. Sir, I was with the MD. How did you go? Jason. You know, I thought I knew her. Everything is just an illusion. Dorothy's ears are not AA like she claimed.
Isn't it obvious? Huh? Maybe. But I'm, I'm, I'm struggling so hard to fathom the motive. Now I know. Now I know. Now I know why she got pregnant even though we were not ready for it at the time. Now I know why she was desperate to get married to me. That's why. Ah. at the time didn't have some sort of obsolete equipment that could have interfered with the outcome of the test. Really? What makes you think so? thought that my wife, Dorothy, could be having an affair with Pastor T. I just cannot go through an episode like this again. I can't. I can't. I understand how you feel. Stop crying. Don't cry. <sighs> But the truth is, with modern day science and technology, you can actually ascertain the general type of a fetus with a process called prenatal diagnosis, otherwise known as PND. This is usually done between the 8th and 10th week of pregnancy. As it is, yes, as it is, the child in your womb has a 75% chance of being an AS and a 25% chance of being an SS. If after PND, the child is in the 25% category, you have the choice to terminate the pregnancy. But Mrs. Spiff, I would advise you take your time, explore your options before you make a decision. Jason, I still insist that you reconsider your decision. Really, you have to reconsider it. Your mind is made up. I know your mind is made up, but I don't think this is the best way you should handle this. There are better actions for you to take. Is locked. My room door. 
and will remain locked henceforth. Mom, who kept your things in the guest room? My thing. Baby, why don't you go to your room and I'll join you, okay? Let's go. Jason, what's going on here? Well, this is my house, Dorothy. And I owe you no explanation. Jason. Frank, tell of this. She shouldn't be happy I allowed her into my house again in the first place. I... Move. Move. Jason. I... Jason. I... Just relax, okay? Just calm down. I'll, I'll speak to him. Jason. Why are you not in bed? No, we're beating mommy. Us? Beating mommy? How? In my dream. Ah. Oh. 
<laughs> Listen, my dear. I want you to know that dreams are not real. Okay? Uh, so it was just it was just a dream. Hmm? But you once told me dreams come true. Um yeah, uh <laughs> true, but um not that kind of dream. <laughs> Alright, not that kind of dream. Why is mommy sleeping on the couch? Um <laughs> I, I don't know, but uh, it's late. All right, let's um, let's go in. Let's go to bed. Come on, let's go. Where are we going? Uh, what did you say? Where are we going? Yes, Barista. No, that's not what I'm saying. I need you to expedite actions. I don't have that time. I'm sorry. Of course, I'll make them available to you. Thank you. Thank you, Barista. Just keep me updated. Guy, is there more to this drama than I know? Listen, Frank, let's drop the topic, all right? I'm done. You're divorcing Dorothy just because you found out her genotype is ES? No, I'm divorcing her because she lied to me. 
All right? I'm divorcing her because she has just changed my life setting. I'm divorcing her because she has just brought me problems that I will have to deal with for the rest of my life. Why? They read the fact, why? Why would an innocent selling suffer for, for, for the office stupidity as far as I'm concerned? I understand. Maybe you don't understand my pain. Why bring the child into this world if you're going to hurt that child by your silly mistakes? I do understand your pains, Jason. But trust me, two wrongs can never, ever make it right. Thank you very much, sir. But I am done. Alright? I am done. I don't want to leave me and my child alone. Jason, you're making a mistake. Did you ask God to forgive you for lying yesterday? Of course I did. And you promised him you won't lie again? Yes. I did, darling. Did Daddy eat breakfast? Yes. Um, I'm, I'm not quite sure. He left before we got up. He left to where? To the office, I guess. Hmm? Maybe we can... Can we eat now? Mommy's hungry. Want some Milo? We haven't prayed. Okay, um, why don't you pray for us? Dorothy, don't forget the Bible says weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. All right? I want to sue that laboratory. Why would you want to sue them? Do you think your joy depends on the laws of the land? That's not it. They need to pay. They need to pay for this untold pain that they have cost me. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Why don't you just <laughs> hand your battle over to God? And let only him, I mean only him, do what only him can do. That is God. I'm sure he's going to restore your family back. Come on, Dorothy. <laughs> Dorothy, don't do this. Huh? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. God will restore your family back. I it's okay. It's okay. <sighs> no, Barrister, no, no. I don't agree with you. I have told you before, I needed to hasten the process. Yes, that's what I want. Listen, Barrister, whatever you do, I want the custody of my daughter. Can you do that for me? Please, thank you. I'll be waiting for your call. No, I know you're dead serious. My mind is made up front. That's cruel. Judge not. Exactly what you're doing yourself. <laughs> Jason, you once told me that you could kill for Dorothy. History. Oh well, um, your travel file just came to my department and I didn't see Dorothy's name on it, so I just came over to confirm. But I guess, um, all I can do is wish you well, actually.
my way. No. Dorothy. Move out of my way. No. Listen, I want you out of my way at the count of three. Do you hear me? One. Hello, Pastor Tim. It's me, Selene. I'm fine. My mommy is crying. I don't know. Maybe my daddy beat her. I'm in my room. Pastor Tim, will you come and pray for them? Frank. What is it? Celine cannot travel with you. Except you make an alternative arrangement for her. What are you talking about? That my own daughter cannot travel with me under the company's arrangements. How does that work? Huh? Celine is not your daughter. <laughs> the DNA test result just came out.
Jason! first. Why? Just come to the office, please. What's going on, Frank? Is there a problem? Jason, trust me. Come to the office. Look, you can talk to me, alright? What, 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 what's going on? I know I can talk to you. The MD requires your presence in the office. Just come. I'll be on my way to the office right now, okay? Thank you. Mr. Spiff? We are deeply sorry to inform you the DNA result given to you by the HSC department wasn't actually the right one for your daughter. The mix-up came at the point where your family's blood samples were being collected alongside those of the families of the other staff.
chairman has given his approval and uh, he has also spoken to the consular general of France. So the visas will be coming out in a couple of hours. And... <laughs> She needs her father too. She needs her father? After you got your thoughts to throw us out of the house, now she needs her father? But I am sorry. Sorry about what? What are you sorry about? Over my dead body are you taking my child? And you be prepared to die because not even you can stop me from taking my daughter. She is you not your daughter. She is not your child. Selim. Oh. Get the doctor. Get the doctor. Selim. Selim. Get the doctor. Go and get the doctor. Don't let him take my baby. Can you just get the doctor? Oh. As it is, the blood transfusion is no longer effective as before. Same goes for the painkillers. And we cannot increase the dose of the painkillers because she already exceeded the limit. So, she has to rely on normal painkillers, which will not help her much. But that's the best we can do for her. She's going to go through pain. <gasps> Acute pain. She is going to cry. She's going to scream. So you both have to be strong for her. It is my intention, Doctor, to... to seek help elsewhere. I... I am thinking of flying out of France for... A bone marrow transplant. Not on your life, Jason. Not on your life. Not here, Dorothy. Not now. Behave yourself. What else can we? Is it possible? To put every other thing aside and save the life of our daughter. Does that make sense? Huh? If that is the case, I can recommend capable hand in Paris. If you guys would like that. Oh, that would be nice, Doctor. Mrs. Smith? She's forgiven me. But it all won't be complete without you. Please. Daddy wants you to forgive him too because he's really, really, really sorry.
we know that um, that you're not feeling so well right now. We know that you feel pains. But Daddy and Mommy are doing everything within their power to ensure that you get well soonest. Alright. I will promise you that very soon all the pains that you feel will be gone. Alright, because we're doing our very best to ensure that we get you the best medical care. I love you so much. You are all that we have, Selena and we are hoping that you're not going to give up on us and just hang in there and stay strong. Alright? Because this will be over for us. <laughs> What's on your mind? Tell me. <laughs> tell me. All right. Tell me. Tell me. I'm listening. Jason, how are you? Um, we're good. What's up? Okay, I uh, just got back from the embassy and I have their visas now. Ah, oh, that's good. That's good news. Uh, management also authorized that a chartered air ambulance be made available to fly you all to Paris today and it's already waiting. Ah, oh, good news, good news. Thank you very much, Frank. Thank you. Um, does the hospital have an ambulance to take her to the airport or do you want me to go for one? Um, I don't know if they have, but they should, but that, that shouldn't be a problem, Frank. I mean, I, I can carry her, right? Okay. I'll see you at the airport then. Let me make all the arrangements. Alright, we'll catch up with you very soon. Let's just um, get clearance from the doctor. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. See you. I just got off the phone with Frank and he said that um, the company um, have completed arrangements for us to travel this night if we will and that um, you and Selene got your visas as well. Oh God. Alright, uh, he 
also talked about an emergency ambulance. That's if it's me that uh, they would offer one. Oh God, thank you, thank you, thank you, God, thank you, God. Thank you. So I just told them that we'll get clearance from the doctor and then we'll catch up with them at the airport. Okay, okay. Um, let me let me get her bags. Everything ready. Her bags. Um. Let's let me get her bags. Oh, Oh, okay, let me just She's oh, helped me with the... Can I have it? Yes. Well, it's okay, I'll, I'll take care of it. Just get okay. the doctor. Oh, doctor. I was just um, coming to get you. Fine, thank you. How is she? Hi, doctor. Let me get her. Let me get her. All right. Yes, um, she's okay. Um, doctor, my wife was just on her way to your office to... Asks for clearance, you know, to take her daughter with us at Safe Farm. Um, you know, you'll allow us, because the company called a few minutes ago to say that that are listening to me, um, that um, uh, we have clearance to fly her abroad this night if we want to, because all the arrangements have been made. The visas are, are ready now. Doctor. Doctor. Yeah, you know, but um, everything is ready, ready, ready. And I honestly think that it won't be a bad idea for us to travel tonight since we don't have a lot of time on our hands. What? Doctor, what's going on? Honey, what is it? Um, I, I don't know. Um, doctor. Celine? Doctor? I don't know what is it. Um, I don't, I don't know. What is it? Celine? Doctor? Sends his, his warm regards. Um, Dr. Raymond said you collected a test for the prenatal diagnosis. Ah, uh, okay. Um, what, well, he, he called you? I, I did. I, I called him.
Thank you, Father.